Is that the kid? What the hell is he about to do? Oh my god! Welcome back to Vani Toss, everyone. I know this episode came out a little late. I had so many internet problems on Friday, um, getting a whole bunch of like Kaguya-sama uploaded. And once that was finally fixed, like I basically didn't have the energy to do Vani Toss because if I really didn't have the internet to upload, I didn't have the internet to download anything either. So, you know, that's just how it went. But we're here, we're gonna get it out the way, and then we're gonna move on to Sasaki Tomiyana. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe, comment down below, turn notifications probably on social media. And if you would like to watch fully unedited or uncensored versions of this, just make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. But support in all formats is appreciated. Let's begin. Yes, let's move on swiftly to the Is that Dominique? That memory. Whoa! Whoa! Is that the- is that the- is that the kid? Is that Vanita? Is that the- Uh, shouldn't you take him to like, a doctor? Hmm? Does this have to do with John? I think- did he take what John said? Oh, the kitty cat! What? Is he just down bad from love? He's in love. It's love. No, this is this is not this is not what's happening. Someone's about yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. They all know what it is. They all know what it is. It's your first time having a crush slash being in love with someone. <laughs> Someone say it. Can I hit him? <laughs> oh wow, his uh, his like his hand is it in the process. Oh, he's gone already. I love how more they were like, okay, we're gonna entertain y'all for as long as he's eating or they're eating. Is it a he or a girl or a she? I forgot. But as long as Mira's eating, they basically was just like, yeah, we're gonna wait for them to start to finish eating and then we're gonna kick y'all asses out regardless. Wow, he really is in love. He's seeing the world in, like, different colors and shit. Wow. Now that he's acknowledging it, I know John is probably gonna be dead soon. <laughs> oh, You're literally about to learn it from some random people. <laughs> oh my goodness, the heavy breathing and everything also? Calm down. You might... Roland. <laughs> oh, he looks cute. Yeah, you better not say his real name. Yeah, you're in deep trouble if you fuck up right here. Because he's probably going to... The Obsidian. Oh. Well, it's nice that Roland can at least, like, make up shit on the fly. No. Leave. Mm. Oh my god, you're so No, he's not no, he's not. <laughs> oh, is he gonna ask them to explain love? He is he is a mess. Oh my god. <laughs> ask them about love. Go just do it. I mean, but aren't y'all... Well, I guess they're not, like, super-duper churchy. They just work for the church. They're about to say it so bluntly, it's gonna... Not... Oh, And an ample bosom. <laughs> they're gonna be so into it. Oh, my God. You found the wrong two people. Yeah. It's good that he's able to talk through it, though. Talking through it is going to help him, like, work through it. Bitch, you are smoking a cigarette. Don't even try it. Aww. You're in love. Exactly. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. You can't go over there. <laughs> Olivia must be so fucking confused. What? Did that not cross your fucking mind? Oh my god, he's so bad at this! She, she, she literally pushed you down and sucked your blood. 
I guess this is just more of a chill episode. I don't think they're going to do any, like, huge plot movements until maybe the very end. Damn. Oh, my God. He's going to be your fucking angel of love. No. Roland. You. This is going to turn Vintas off even more. He's probably going to run away from him. <laughs> He's a little, he's a fucking toddler right now. Oh my God. Oh, wow. You better hope Olivier doesn't catch that they're fucking vampires. Or that he's a vampire. Oh, you couldn't, you couldn't fool him. What the hell did you just do if you weren't attached to him? Is he... Oh, I was going to say, please don't make Roland be like a piece of absolute shit. Oh, no. Where are the BL vibes coming from? Roland. Oh, it's Luke. I didn't think. I thought she was going to go straight back to Ruthven and get like puppeteered. I don't trust that. I wouldn't trust anything in that world right now. Wait, what's going on? Why is it like she following Luca around like exclusively anymore? Oh, oh, I don't trust this. Ruthven's going to show up and like completely ruin this. Wait, is that not what the answer he wanted to hear? He wouldn't mistreat Chloe and also Chloe would beat his ass and he wouldn't fight back. Oh, oh, he's getting jealous of fucking Vanitas again. They're both crushing so hard. Oh. <laughs> she about to smile it up. You're going to admit it. Oh, well, at least she's not having like a repulsive reaction like Vanitas. <laughs> Don't take her to Ruthven. Huh? Oh, <laughs> now she's. But you followed her around that one date when they went on that date. Huh. Luca is literally on the verge of tears. <laughs> oh, for knowing. No, Luca doesn't want her to be with anyone but himself. <laughs> Pass on no way too. Oh, she's done for. She's down the baddest of bad. Yeah, it's over, girl. You're not going to convince her out of this. You're too happy, and this show is not about happiness. So it's, you're about to be, like, cut down. I don't know who or where it's going to come from, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come from Ruthven for the most likely part. Uh-oh. You're going to push him down. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, Luca's probably going to lose it. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, she taught you this. <laughs> An exchange of letters. No, Luca's not going <laughs> to... He's done for. Because he has no fucking hope with her anymore. Oh. What? Yeah, y'all are going to convince anything. The only thing that's going to happen is to, like despair that'll stop her from doing this. No, you didn't. You were horrible on that last date. Oh, you're back now. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, no, Nadia. Oh, no, you have a curse. No. Uh-oh. Was she the one in the alley? She was the one in the alley in the beginning of the episode. You did some sideways shit, girl, didn't you? Is it Domin- Is it really her? Is it Domi? You can't just ignore your purpose like this. Come on now. Would you have even ended up in Javoden if it weren't for fucking Vanitas in the first place? Look at this. Everybody's coming to you with their real and true feelings. Are you, are you play, this is, we're going to get a hot shot. We're going to get a hot shot. He's going to look hot as fuck soon. 
okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a bit more magical because of the roof lighting, but that was cute too. It was cute. So is that the kid that was with Vanitas? Dummy. Whoa! Yeah, she's cursed. That's her, her cur- What? Oh, is that a mechanical arm? Hand? Oh. Is that the kid? What the hell is he about to do? Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god! Oh! What the- Oh my god. Okay, so... Domi has a Domi's cursed. I mean, it's not surprised a lot of us get cursed, but she's also been out of the storyline for a while, so I'm not surprised they're gonna bring her back in right now. Um, is that the other kid that got saved with Vanitas? Um, also, what's up with the arm or the hand? It's it's a mechanical arm because like a sword came out of it, like Assassin's Creed style, but not like the chink style. It was more so like I made it come out like this. What the hell? Oh, okay, I was like, I know I did my properties. I know I did like I took the autofocus off. Sorry, but I'm I'm interested again. See, that's the thing though. When things start, when they start the arcs up, or when they do the world building, it's great. I mean, this episode was basically a lot of just like slice of life comedy, which is not bad because the previous stuff that we got was just so excessively flashbacky and excessive to a certain point. And even though they cut a lot of stuff out. I just, that I did the, that whole arc as itself, maybe it was just like too long, or maybe the cuts should have been better in specific places, or maybe they shouldn't like move things around. But with this already, like just with the hints of what can come or what is to come, I'm more interested in this already. I do wanna know where Chloe is, and I'm waiting. That's what I'm doing. I'm from now on waiting for the moment where Chloe appears, where like Chloe and Jean Jacques, they appear at the last second, like saving them on like a roof or something, and they're just like, we told you guys you should have just fucking kept us with you some shit like that like that would be so fucking cool and like so amazing and i hope that that happens sooner rather than later like i want them to be part of the crew but also what did don't we do anything to luca and john at that table and she's i'm assuming she's the one that's part of or behind like vampire attacks in paris so how is she being influenced by that kid and or is the kid even influencing her are they part of charlatan or are they just like a random chaos agent? Because he wants Noe, but if that's Vanitas' like bro or whatever, Magog, then I'm assuming he wants Noe to get to Vanitas. So we shall see. But in the meantime, in between time, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, comment down below, turn on notifications, follow me on social media. And if you would like to watch fully unedited or fully uncensored versions of this, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. But support in all formats is appreciated. Oh my God, I just want to cut my mouth with that. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.